Well, first of all, I just want to congratulate Baola. Um, they played extremely well. Um, kind of beat us at our own game, and that's um, something we'd like to do is just really get going on the bases and put the ball in play, and um, I thought they executed very well. I thought Kylie pitched really well today, even go, giving up six hits. Um, they were just hitting the right spot. Um, we just couldn't spread it out enough to, to stay in the game offensively for ourselves. What was it about the uh, the other pitcher that you feel that was uh, doing? What was she doing so well? Well, kudos to Paige Austin. She threw she threw well, and um, she kind of just kind of I thought stayed with her game the whole time, and um, until we made adjustments, and we didn't. I th thought we for seven innings um, we didn't make a whole lot of adjustments, so she didn't have to. Uh, so she kept kind of with her, uh, I guess her approach stayed very similar through seven innings of the ball game, and. I think of, of the outs that we made, I think we had um, almost 11 fly balls and strikeouts to get combined out of the 21 outs, and that's, uh, that's easy to play defense against. Uh, I mean, speaking defensively, they made some incredible plays that maybe in another game they would fly through. And, right. and that could, do you feel like that just kind of slowed down what you guys were trying to do offensively? Yeah, their shortstop made some tremendous plays. And yeah. again, we, you know, we were so limited in the opportunities that we did have. And when we, I thought we did you know, put the ball in play in the area that, that we have a chance with, she made those plays. So it kind of kind of put a lot of pressure on us offensively. Um, I think you were here a couple of years ago in 2000, or not here, but in 2018, you were in the College World Series. Uh, you have a good group coming back. Do you feel like there was any nerves or expectations on well, yourselves? Well, we do, we do have a, a majority of our team that's never been on this stage before. And um, I'm sure that played into it a little bit. But you know, and the biggest thing, that when you get to this level, you, you really have to stay with what got you here. And I don't think we did a very good job of that today. And that's, that's on me for not getting them ready for, for today's game. Kylie, uh, you pitched well today. What was working well for you? And you can give us a little bit what happened in the fifth. Um, overall, I felt pretty good. I felt good with Shelby. I thought we had a good rhythm going. But like Coach said, they did what they needed to. And we just didn't. Um, overall, I think, I just think they came ready to play, more ready than we were. And I think a little bit of that is nerves because, like Coach said, the majority of our team is very young. They've never been to a World Series. So I think lots of nerves going into the game. And then we just, we couldn't make the plays and they peppered the ball where they needed to. Were you in the previous in 2018? I was. So you, you're familiar. I mean, what do you try to tell these kids about what the stage is like? And maybe with the game under the belt, they'll get a little less nervous. Uh, yeah, hopefully I think we've got all I, I think we got all the nerves out. Now we've just got to play like we know how to play. I mean, we did it before we did it in regionals. We lost and we had to fight back and win to get here, which we did. So we have it in us. We've just got to work through the nerves and play like we know how to play. And I think, you know, we should be able to get a win, hopefully. Yeah. How much do you get? I mean, just to have another pitcher, an All-American pitcher like that on the other side, uh, how much do you get up for that? I mean, I know you're, you're probably pitching in all kinds of great games during the season, but at this stage against this type of pitcher, I mean, does that really get you going? Oh, yeah. I think uh, being here, there you, you've got to expect good pitchers for every team that's here. They didn't make it here with not a solid staff, not a solid team. So you've got to tip your hat and respect the other teams that you're playing on the other side, but you've just got to compete the best you can and hope that your team pulls it out in the end. So I think it does get me a little hyped up and ready to play, but um, – you just got to hope your team can play as a whole and get the job done. Shelby, just talk about the other pitcher and what, what she was uh, doing, and or maybe you're just going to echo what your coach said. Um, I just, like Coach said, I didn't think we made good enough adjustments. I mean, going through a lot of points, you kind of know what she's got. You know, she's going to throw that change up more. So I don't feel like we like knew what we were looking for in our bats. But overall, there's another team I'd rather be out here with. So I think we'll, we'll be good. We'll do good. How cool is it being at this stage? I mean, this it's is what you exciting. fight for all year, right? Yes, it's what you fight for all year. It's exciting to go out my fifth year, being able to come out here. So I'm excited. What are some of the things that, I don't know if coaches address the team, but what are some of the things he told you afterwards? That nerves are out. So we got to fight for each other, play as a team, have everybody's back, just pass the bat and calm down. Uh, coach, last one for me. Just uh, what, is, what are some of the things you want to see as you head into the next game tomorrow? Uh, just consistency and, and doing what we've done all year to get to this point. I think that's the biggest key for us is staying within ourselves and knowing what we do well. And, and if that's not good enough, then you know, we'll tip our head and we'll go to the house. But uh, I think for us, if we'll just play our game, I like our chances. So um, you know, we'll just, we've got to come out tomorrow. And it's now it's elimination time. We've been there before. And we've got to rally again. So I do want to finish up and, and congratulate Lake and Chambers for uh, winning the Elite 90 award. Yeah. That's a 
tremendous honor for our program and, and tremendous honor for that young lady for us. Uh, right now, Lakin's 14 and 0 on the season, and um, you know to be tabbed with the Elite 90 award is uh, a great tribute to who she is on and off the field. Awesome. Go for it. Yeah. Kylie Shelby, for you guys, uh, whoever wants to start, by all means. 2018, you lose the first game and have to battle back uh, until the end of that run. What does that experience and what can you take from that experience moving forward in the rest of this tournament? Whichever one of you wants to start. Um, I think that, well, from that experience, when we came back for the second game, you know, it was either you win it or you go home, and nobody was ready to go home in 2018. So that kind of lit a fire under us, and we had already got our nerves out, so we were ready to play. And I, I think that's going to carry over into this team because we do all love playing together. I mean, this is a very close team, and like Shelby said, I wouldn't want to be here with anyone else. And so I, I hope that that unity and the closeness of our team will kind of pick up and everybody will start playing selflessly instead of selfishly. That's for sure. Um, we've told them about 2018. They know that and uh, they know the position we're in. But like Kylie said, there's no other team. So I would rather, I think we'll come out and we'll play how we know how to play, not be selfish. And I mean, we were in it in regionals, so I know we can do it. And Coach, one for you from me. Uh, a more familiar opponent tomorrow, Valdosta State, um, a team that you didn't play this year but have played numerous times in uh, February leading up. Is there a sense of uh, comfort knowing that it's a more familiar opponent that you get to play tomorrow, is there, or is it just business as usual? No, not really. I think with Valdosta State, again, they're, they're feeling the same way we feel. And um, that's what we told our kids back down in 2015 when we had to win five games in a row was um, basically – Every time you play again, you're going to you're going to play somebody who feels like you feel today, and uh, Valdosta feels like the same way we feel right now. So whoever can come out tomorrow will kind of have that advantage to continue to make a run in this thing and hopefully stay around for a couple of days.